Wow, dragon caterpillars! Have you ever seen such a thing? They really and truly look like dragons in real life. It's crazy! And today I'm going to talk about their biology while providing you amazing close-ups of these insects to tickle in your pickle. Um, I would have worded that in a better way in hindsight. Anyway, let's start the intro. This is Bert Coppens and welcome to my bug highlight. So what species are they? They are the caterpillars of a butterfly. That's right. The species I identified as Opsiphanus tamarindi. What makes the caterpillars of this butterfly unique is their very unique shape and color and in particular the horns on their head capsule. They remind me of, well, a worm or perhaps a Chinese dragon or a wyvern. Dragon experts of the internet, I need you. Please let us know what kind of dragons represent them the best. Oops, I just realized dragon experts on the internet probably means furries. Hey there furries, welcome to my channel. The larvae when fully grown are variable in appearance, but are typically green with orange dorsal stripes and a pair of red-brown cephalic thorns. They feed nocturnally on Heliconia from the Heliconiaceae family Canna or Canaceae family Calatea from the Marantaceae family and Musa or Musaceae. The last mentioned genus, if you know anything about botany, includes bananas, on which the butterfly Opsiphana stammerindi can sometimes become a pest. Now to put it into less taxonomic terms, otherwise it just sounds like Harry Potter spells to most of you, the caterpillars of these butterflies are considered to be a pest on banana trees. That's exactly where I found them myself too, on the leaves of banana tree. Opsiphanus tamarini occurs from Mexico to Bolivia. If you ever visit one of these places, then keep an eye out in the banana trees around you because you never know if the dragon caterpillars are lurking. Interestingly, the butterflies they turn into are crepuscular. That means these butterflies fly in the darkness and twilight, unlike most butterflies who just prefer broad daylight. Both the larva and butterfly are unusual in some ways. Beautiful. Thank you for watching. If you're curious about what butterflies they're going to turn into, you better subscribe to my channel because I'm going to film the butterflies soon as well. Check out my other videos, you'll probably love them. Bye!